I was sitting at home watching the 2022 World Cup in Seoul. Quarterfinal, Jaspers against Daniel Sanchez, world number one against world champion. It was a really exciting match until the very end. At the beginning, in the fifth inning, there was really again this difficult situation for Dick Jaspers where he ran from one position to the next position and couldn't decide. Finally, he had to take time out. And this is exactly one position for me where I think, let's analyze this. So, let's try this now. For quick positioning, I'm arranging the ball positions with a marker this time. I mark all ball positions with a white cloth marker. It's the first time I'm using this, so let's try. You know what? I think it's now the time to like this video and get subscriber. The first pattern I try is a plus pattern from red and it was not that super difficult and it's a quite easy shot. The difficulty is to hit a thin. You have to hit this slightly thinner than half ball. It's okay even if you hit it a little bit thinner than half, but avoid hitting thick. If you hit thick, then it's running too short and you will miss the point. Also, when you hit it thick, there is a kiss risk, therefore avoid hitting thick. Positive thing is you can hit slow because you hit thin and the negative is the approach. I made five points directly with this shot and only one point with the position. So total six points. And you see again, half ball is a good choice. The next position, I try to make a Conti shot, but then coming from the long rail. I have to hit really hard and with a draw shot with spin in combination with the bad body position, this is resulting to a low performance. I had only two points and four kisses. So this is a bad solution. Let's go to the next shot. The solution three is a short, long, short choice, which I performed really bad. I made only one point out of 10. Let's compare these three shots and choose the best of them. Definitely the solution one is the most successful out of these three shots. The winner is the half ball shot. And now let's go to the next three shots. Let's jump to the next three shots. Again, I play from the red ball, but this time with a thicker hit and draw shot with right side spin to come again from the long rail but it's very sensitive in combination again with the bad approach and the high speed and the draw. Anyhow, I made six points. If you have to reach long, think about changing the shot. This is the first shot which I make from white. I play a thin cut to white and trying to make a plus pattern but unfortunately I did only make one point out of 10 trials. Really bad performance. In the solution six, I try again a Conti shot approaching from the long rail. But the difficulty is that it's a really thick hit with a, with a side spin, which I couldn't control it that good. Total one point. If we compare now these three shots, the solution four, wins again with six points against one and two points. Sometimes a shot looks easy, but it's not. Last three shots. In the seventh shot, I play a Conti from White's right side, trying to come to the yellow from the long cushion. Since ball three is close to the cushion, it's a big ball and therefore I have a success rate of four points. And now I play the white, but from the left side with a really heavy draw shot and high speed to make a plus pattern from the left side. 
I made here astonishing four points. And now, last but not least, the ninth shot is a half all hit with slightly left side English. I play here a short long short, which is really good solution. And the fact that I have made seven points means that the position play with this shot is also really good. To summarize, positive is the half ball hit with medium speed, negative is that ball three is a little small. Seven points, it's the benchmark. The last three shots were really cool. I made four points, four points and seven points. The winner is the shot with the half ball hit, solution nine. Let's have a look which shot is now the best out of these nine. We have three winners. Two of them are plus patterns, while one is having a thin hit. The other one makes it with a thick hit. Both are using the good big ball. But the winner is a classical half ball hit with a slightly side spin. Are you curious about the shot Jaspers has chosen? You will be surprised. Now let's see what Jaspers is really playing here. He is going for a plus pattern from the right side of white, a very thin hit and he makes the point. After this point he made additional 7 points and made the big gap to Daniel Sanchez. So I was really surprised about the choice of Jaspers. When I tried that shot, my performance was really bad. Why did Jaspers choose that shot? Because he is very confident in hitting thin. To be confident in thin hits is one of the keys to increase your performance. Also Jaspers is half a head smaller than me and therefore he didn't reach to the red ball. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Stay strong, stay safe, stay at night cafe.